Hello and welcome to Odoo Live. My name is Noel, Community Manager here at Odoo San Francisco, and thank you once again for joining us. Today I'm joined by Raul, one of our channel account managers, to discuss Odoo's e-commerce and how to sell more with a smart online store. Welcome, Raul. Thank you, Noel. Hi, everyone. Um, like you said, my name is Raul. I'm going to be showing a little bit of how to use e-commerce with Odoo today. Mm -hmm. As always, if you have any questions regarding today's topic, you can leave your questions in the chat and we'll answer them at the end during our question and answer session. Additionally, if you have questions that aren't related to today's topic, you can always send us an email. We are at webinars at odoo.com. Or if you would like to get in touch with Raul directly, Raul, what is your email address? It's rmc at odoo.com. You're going to see it in a second, actually. Excellent. Well, good. Well, then, uh, with all that being said, go ahead and please take it away, Raul. Thank you. So, like I said, I'm going to be showing e-commerce today. My email is down in the corner. Basically, first, um, I wanted to go over a little bit of what we're going to be doing. We're going to look at the website, and we're going to add the e-commerce module. And I'm going to show how that changes things and allows you to set up an online store. Then we're going to go over the sales flow of someone buying a product and how that's going to appear on your end and how you're going to get the sales order. And then I'm going to show you some customizations you can do using the e-commerce module. And after that, I'll open it for some questions. As some of you may know, Odoo is meant to be a software that does everything related to your business and connects you with your customers. And it integrates all of the apps. So in this um, webinar, you're going to see how many different apps are going to work together to make the e-commerce work. Today, we're going to be looking at website, inventory, sales, invoicing, and e-commerce, of course. So, let's begin. Here we are at the dashboard. If you know, if some of you haven't seen it before, it looks very similar to a phone app dashboard. Each of these is the different apps we're going to use. And first off, I wanted to show our website. So, here let's say that we want to start an online business to sell shoes. I've created the website here using our website builder. It's very easy to use. It doesn't require any coding. You can just drag and drop and get instant results right here. So I want to add a title right here because they need to know where shoes are us. So now we can save and it's done. However, we don't have the store yet. We just have the landing page and a little bit of information. So now I'm going to show you in our inventory all the products that we're going to be using and how and they will appear on the store. So I created some products here. I basically gave the names, added some pictures, the price, and I made different variants based on different sizes and different colors. And I wanted to show how I have different pictures for the different colors. And that's going to be reflected on the e-commerce page. Now, with all of these products already done, the next step is simply to download the e-commerce module and you're gonna see how quickly it's gonna integrate with everything else that we've done. Good. Okay. We're back. And we're good. So as soon as we installed the e-commerce, Odoo sent us directly onto our website to see how it looks. It has created the storefront, and we can see all our products. And I'm going to open one of the product pages so that we can see how it would look right now. As I said, I have all the images already configured. You can see the different types. We have all the different sizes and variants, and you can order however you would like. Basically, um, I want to show how you can instantly purchase. If you published it and download it like this, we can just go on ahead, add this to the cart, and check out. So I want to show you how it integrated with inventory with our products. 
Now it's going to integrate with our sales app to process this purchase. So we're going to buy it here. And after this, we're going to go to our sales app where it's going to appear already that someone has purchased a product from our website. Okay, great. So our customer has bought some shoes. Now we just have to move back here and look for the sales order. So we have something right here and we can find the order. They got the Adidas and free delivery. Down here, we can see what is the chatter. This is going to be in, in the bottom of every type of app. Um, and you can just see comments and information related to whatever is going on right here, which here is the sales order being purchased, as well as our bill. We can open the PDF, and this is how it would appear. It's all done, all created by Odoo automatically. So it's super convenient. Now, since we've downloaded e-commerce, I wanted to go back into inventory into our product page and show couple things that we can edit and change um, thanks to the e-commerce module. So I would go here into the Adidas, for example, and an e-commerce tab is opened up right here. And there's a couple options that we have here. So let's add some categories. And this is going to be under shoes. And we can add some alternative products. So if they're already looking at some shoes, for example, but maybe they don't want the Adidas, let's suggest the Converse instead. And we can add some accessory products. So I added a shoe cleaning kit right here. Just an example of something that maybe people who are already buying shoes might want this as well. And I'm going to show you now how that's going to appear on the website as they're purchasing something. So we go back to our website and we're going to see these new additions. Someone wants to buy some shoes. They decide Adidas. Maybe they don't. Here's the alternative product suggested right under here. And when they add it, now there's going to be an extra step where they're going to suggest the cleaning kit. Nope, it hasn't showed up, <laughs> but it would show up right there. Let's go try something else that's very cool on the website app. Another thing we can do is add a promo code for discounts and there we go. Let's create this. We want a 25% disc, discount. So we're going to use the code. Let's call it Odoo25. It's a 25% discount. And it should be ready. Let's go back to our website. And since we already were looking at this, I'm going to show you that we also can have a mobile preview of the website so you can instantly see how this would all look on your phone. The website builder can adapt it automatically without you having to worry about it. And you can do everything through here just to test it out. So if we were going to buy some vans, as we check out, we're going to see the option to add a promo code. right here. And there we go, the discount has been applied, just like that. Another detail is you can publish or unpublish these products on the fly in any moment. Let's say we ran out of stock on the vans or we simply don't want to sell them anymore. All we have to do is click right here and when we go back to the shop, it's going to appear as unpublished. So as the administrator, you can see that in case you did want to add it back in, but the customer would not be viewing this anymore. So in any moment, we can just bring it right back and it's there. And 
that concludes what I wanted to show today. So I'll open it now for any questions. Excellent. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, for the moment, we don't have uh, any questions um, right now. We'll give people a few minutes to uh, uh, send in their, any ones that they might have last minute. But in the meantime, I would like to remind everyone that we are currently in the midst of our Odoo 12 tour. Uh, so if you would like to get in touch with us or uh, meet us in person, we have events happening in this country and all around the world, uh, Latin America, Europe. Um, even uh, Australia, uh, you can find all of that information at odoo.com slash events. Uh, Raul, have you been to any Odoo tours or do you, are you going Not to yet, any? but I'm looking forward to it. Okay, well, excellent. Um, well, let's see. In the meantime, it looks like, uh, yeah, we've covered everything that we need to cover. Um, so I'd like to thank you again thank uh, you. for joining us and for the presentation. If you have any additional questions, please send us an email. We are at webinars at odoo.com. Or once again, if you would like to get in touch with Raul directly, Raul, what is your email address? rmc at odoo.com. Excellent. Uh, well, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making these videos for you all. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weeks and uh, enjoy your weekend. So from all of us here at Odoo San Francisco, Thank you for watching. We will see you all next time.